see if it starts. <laughs> Hi there, Smart Drivers. Rick with Smart Drive Test. Welcome back to take two of the live stream. You are most welcome, Riley, and thank you for your compliment. I really appreciate that. My name is Rick August. For those of you who don't know me, those of you who are new to the live feed, uh, I do have a PhD. I've been a driving instructor since 1997. Most of my driving instruction career has been with CDL vehicles, uh, mostly trucks and buses. However, I have done a lot of work with new drivers working with cars, as you can tell by the number of videos on the YouTube channel as well. I've been a, a driver rehabilitation specialist who worked with people who have uh, debilitating crashes, uh, had uh, you know a stroke or those types of things and we're trying to return to driving. So one of the things that I did on the YouTube channel was I put a new playlist up yesterday. This is for final days road test preparation. So for smart drivers who are coming up to their a few days before the road test, this playlist is something that you should just review. There's some information that maybe some fundamentals that you should go back to. Yunessa, do you have to use the parking brake every time you park during your road test? Yes, you do, Yunessa. Every time you park the vehicle, make sure that you put the vehicle into a forward gear. If you're driving a manual transmission, if you're driving an automatic, put it in park and apply the parking brake because they're going to think that you're going to leave the vehicle and it needs to be secure. And you should get in the habit of using the parking brake anyway, regardless of whether you're driving an automatic or a manual transmission. It's a really good habit to get into because it's hard on your transmission to just put it into park and have it lay on the transmission. It's just a nice backup if you have that parking brake on. And, and for many of us who are a little bit older, maybe, and you know, all of the smart drivers as well, I would pause it. Uh, road trips, we all have memorable road trips that we took with our parents when we were kids. We went to Disneyland, we went uh, to the Swiss Alps, we went to Uluru in Australia. We drove somewhere with our family and we went on these great trips with our family. Edgar, uh, give me some tips on maintaining speed. There is a video here, Edgar, on uh, controlling speed on the YouTube channel, and Corey may find that for you here. Have a look. And at faster speeds, following distance becomes paramount. You have to manage your following distance because... Mark, yes, it is really live. <laughs> shoulder checking. It is paramount that you shoulder check and continue to do this after you get your driver's license. All right, passing. When you're out on highways and roadways, you're going to have to pass because there's obviously other traffic that's not going to be going as fast as you. Make sure that you have lots and lots of room to pass another vehicle when you're out on the highways or freeways uh, if you have to go into the opposing lane of traffic. Okay, Carlos, what if there is no passing lanes on a highway? Carlos, there's almost always passing lanes. And one of the reasons they put passing lanes up is because they learned 20 or 30 years ago that passing was one of the most dangerous maneuvers that drivers could execute right. and predicting road user behavior and i talked about this with bridges and overpasses when you're driving on a freeway there's going to be a bridge or overpass and that's where traffic is going to be coming on to the highway or freeway and they're going to be get off on the highway or freeway because if you're driving out on the roadway figure out how to use cruise control it's going to be like me learning with my new computer and going through some of the technical challenges at the beginning it's going to be a little bit weird using cruise control However, cruise control is going to eliminate and reduce distracted driving and it's going to reduce fatigue because you don't have to monitor your speed. If I was on the Autobahn, man, if I was on the Autobahn, <laughs> I'd be going fast. Uh, yeah, um, even though I'm a driving instructor, there's one thing that I like, I like speed. It doesn't Latvia, how to brake smoothly. Okay, so Latvia, one of the things you wanna do to learn how to brake smoothly is you wanna start braking earlier. And that way, by braking earlier, you're not gonna to have to uh, brake as hard. So just know that that's one of the things is you wanna start earlier so that way you have more time to work and, that, and you have more time to be able to brake smoothly. Uh, good luck to all of the people taking a road test this week. And uh, we look forward to talking to you on the comments there on the YouTube channel and over on Facebook. Good luck on your road test. And remember, pick the best answer, not necessarily the right answer. Have a good night. Bye now.